Hello Libra, welcome to your March 2022 reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you this month. Now, as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that resonate and leave the rest behind. Now, I usually take flippers and jumpers, but this is an impossible deck, so I'm just going to pull the first card. All right. We have the threshold. Nice. Let me get a couple of spirit animal oracles and then we will move on to your tarot. Okay, we have rabbit. Nice color match. So I tried to theme the, read, the, the recordings and the readings for this month and I'm only using Kim Kranz decks. It was for aesthetic purposes only, but then I quickly realized that these decks speak so beautifully to each other. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, let's let's uh, dig a little deeper on these. All right, so for your archetype, we have the threshold. This is a card of initiation. It is a card of um, crossing thresholds consciously or unconsciously doorways and gateways and <clears throat> entryways that we are faced with constantly in life making choices and when this card comes up I feel like it signifies almost a precipice that you're standing upon and, and a decision that you need to make whether you should leap or not and I feel that you've been placed on this precipice in order to formulate a new reality for yourself almost and leaving behind the old you that you may have thought was very well formed libra but it's almost like a new frontier <laughs> calls i know it's it's a very powerful card but <clears throat> it's not easy to be on this threshold to start this new initiation but it does make space for what is next and that metaphorical death almost needs to come about for me this is a mixture of the tower and the death card and some of you may be struggling to recognize yourself because of the number of changes that you and your body and spirit and soul have been through and it has been an incredibly chaotic time especially for the last two years not just for individuals but for the collective as a whole so it's like when that ground underneath your feet crumbles Think of it as a free fall into your new reality. It's like a trust fall, you know. And the more you struggle, I feel, the harder it will be. It's a card of accepting change. And sometimes just leaping forward and making that change happen for yourself instead of making letting it happen to you, if that makes sense. Now, we have the rabbit. The rabbit... It's very, it's, it's similar, not similar, but I understand why it's here. It talks about being afraid, it talks about being overwhelmed and almost frozen. Um, it's that energy of waiting for the other shoe to drop. And it's like when I was reading, excuse me, when I was reading the book and uh, understanding this card, it said something to the lines of the rabbit loves to tell his friends that the eagle will one day come down and swoop him and everybody off and <clears throat> kill them, you know. And he said it so often that, the, that one day the eagle heard him and literally said thank you for the idea and swooped down and did exactly what he was afraid of. So I feel that sometimes we can become our worst enemy and we can spin up that cloud of fear that dust cloud of fear and complain that we are lost but i feel like your thoughts and words shape your destiny libra this is exactly what the power of manifestation and the law of attraction says you need to be very wary of the words you say and the vibrations you let out into the universe because it's a mirror everything you let out you will attract back it reflects back to you so if you let out fear, it's going to reflect back to you. The things you're afraid of might come about. But if you reflect on faith, then good things come in because you've released, you've let go. That trust fall. You're not swimming against the current. Then we have fire ant. 
all right now this card talks about aggression it it talks about mm, imbalance you know how sometimes we encounter people who who may gossip and blame and complain and they may just be misaligned in general now this could be people around us it could be within us as well and none of us are saints we all go through this i feel you might want to you might be feeling that you're just sitting and stewing on a person or a situation overthinking and only making things worse i feel like you need to ask yourself how can you break free from that drama and cool down and fire ants can be very sensitive so i feel like you do realize that the heat is getting to you there is something that is bothering you and it's time to just let go of that and forge a new path for yourself there are a lot of transformative cards here there is fear of course and there always will be i mean we are creatures of habit and whenever change does come about it is it shakes our foundation up but it's a clearing it's a clearing of the old you know it's needed yikes this guy has been popping up quite a bit the queen of wands the seven of pentacles the high priestess wow that horn was loud okay okay it's quite a bit of cards six of swords four three of wands my bad and judgment all right bottom of the deck we have the hierophant let me skim over this before i clarify libra i feel with the three of swords there was pain here there was a separation maybe if you're here for love there was some kind of loss some kind of betrayal with the queen of wands this could be your energy or it could be somebody you are dealing with the queen of wands is somebody who is very attractive very vivacious energetic creative talented and skillful with the seven of pentacles there is something that you have invested in something that you have been waiting upon uh, to happen for you and it's almost like you've planted those seeds and you're waiting for them to grow with the high priestess pisces energy uh it's interesting how the hierophant and the high priestess are together for me they are counterparts in the tarot they're both very spiritual energies the high priestess though is somebody who has immense knowledge but keeps it under the belt and it could be a card of non action not doing too much just keeping to yourself basically we have the 6 of swords with that which talks about moving on to karma waters and with the 3 of swords in play here I feel this is something that I would have advised you to do anyway. It's leaving chaos behind. With the three of wands, again, it's a beautiful energy of initiation, the threshold, starting something new, waiting for your ships to come in, almost waiting for a tower moment to happen, because you're sick of the old BS, you know. Um, and with the judgment card, this can mean two things. Again, it could mean an awakening that happens within you towards a certain situation, an epiphany, an aha moment, a new reality that comes about, or it could be an awakening that happens within somebody else towards you. We will see. Let's clarify. And the hierophant. Now, the hierophant could mean a few things. It could mean that some of you are embarking on a spiritual journey. you may have had a spiritual awakening and it is something that you are um kind of working on the hierophant can also mean a higher level of commitment now the higher level of commitment could be towards your work it could be towards a relationship or it could be just towards yourself leveling up so to speak okay let's see the three of wands again this happens i told you these cards speak to each other and they keep repeating which is great two threes now for a very small number of you i don't usually like to go to third parties but it could have been a third party situation and third parties doesn't necessarily have to mean romantic interest it could mean that in your relationship there was a third energy it could be a parent it could be a friend somebody who created a rift a conflict because two threes and even three threes coming up can Okay, we have the Queen of Wands again. I was wanting to get a crossing card. Well, you know this combo of the Queen of Wands and the Death card has been showing up a lot. But you see how the cards are mirroring each other, right? Exactly what I said. 
it's amazing how this happens okay i wanted a crossing card for here all right i feel that whatever this pain was you decided that you wanted to let go of it and move on with your life you succeeded or at least you will but there is an underlying current of anxiety of being in your head and it's interesting how it's right under fire ant there's a lot of fire here and i feel like some of you may have been dealing with a fire sign um aries leo sagittarius but moving forward to your center card the queen of wands being clarified again by the queen of wands and the death card and the five of swords this is a repetitive message for the last two signs in you this is that the, the death of vi that vitality and that creativity of that spark it's like everything just went poof, it just disappeared all of that passion just disappeared and with the five of swords it was a very sneaky energy it's like you didn't see it coming almost it's like your world was turned upside down without an inkling it went from 500 to zero in a second we have the nine of wands we have the chariot and the four of wands i feel that all of the wounds that you've accumulated throughout this time they haven't slowed you down you're standing up for yourself you're standing up for your beliefs if this was in the workplace for you i feel libra you're almost starting something of your own starting a new business starting a few new project for yourself and it's it's not going to be all that difficult for you because i feel like you've done the correct investments you have the capital to begin this some of you i'm even getting you're getting a new car but anyway if this is love for you i feel that for a very few of you standing up for your beliefs standing up for your ideals is going to help you bring in the right partner if this is somebody from the past coming in with a renewed energy or it is just somebody brand new altogether i feel like with the chariot i'm i'm feeling that fire coming back the fire that had died right here you have three one two one cards you have the four of wands the nine of wands and you have the chariot for me which is a very high velocity it's fast paced movement and action it's like whatever was just like i said phew, it starts moving again and i don't know if this is a renewed energy or it is someone new we will see we have the queen of pentacles with the high priestess we have we have a divine match right here the king and queen of wands <clears throat> page of cups there may be an apology coming in it is possible um with the queen of pentacles i feel like you are prioritizing your stability you are taking care of you and the people that you love and with the high priestess like i said it's almost that sense of retreating you're not putting yourself out there right now i feel whoever this was your divine counterpart with the king of wands again there's no gender in tarot take the energy i feel after seeing this retreat after seeing you getting out of the eye the public eye even i feel like some of you may not even be posting too much on social media or just keeping to yourself i feel this person eventually might muster the courage to bring about an apology to you with the page of cups it is possible let's see why is the 6 of swords here the page of wands oh 10 of pentacles the 3 of cups the 3 of cups can be a card of reconciliation it can be a card of just spending time with the people who love you and vice versa this could mean <clears throat> a few things the 6 of swords can be a card of travel and the page of wands can be a card of travel again it could be a card of adventure 
it is possible for some of you that the person who you were with lived at a distance and somebody who uh you know you'd have to have to travel a distance to see we have the chariot again so i'm getting this again for some of you it is possible that this person could be visiting somebody may be coming about to see you for a few of you this could also talk about spending time with family that's on the cards because the ten of pentacles is a card of a happy family i'm getting a lot of things here it could be a trip with friends it there, there's travel involved for sure and there's a lot of happiness and stability involved with this take it how it resonates if it is somebody from the past coming in or it is just you spending time with family we will see we have the seven of wands we have the nine of cups atop the three of wands page of pentacles wanting to start afresh if this is work for you like i said you want to leave the past behind and begin something anew and it's like you're almost standing up for yourself you may be meeting competition or you may be meeting naysayers who, who feel like you can't accomplish this but i feel like that resistance and that resilience almost of all right i may not know it all but i'm willing to learn i'm willing to invest and i'm willing to kind of gain that wisdom over time is what brings in happiness for you i feel with the nine of cups it's like wishes coming true if this is love for you i feel that there is somebody i think now this is again your past person coming about still as a page the page of cups and the page of pentacles it's a diluted energy it's nothing major but i feel that you do make this person happy whatever transpired in the past i i really really don't understand it but with the hierophant there is a higher level of commitment here that is being offered to you or will be offered to you it may not come about as beautifully and strongly as you would like but this person is resilient i feel like they will be coming about you are their wish fulfillment yeah i knew it okay listen the judgment card can very often talk about an ex returning i don't usually like to uh, appoint that meaning to this card because i feel like it's very generic and it doesn't really always mean that but we have the six of cups which talks about a past energy it talks about nostalgia and happy memories so i feel like this 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 might be coming about for you again if this is something that you don't want use your discretion use your common sense and set up boundaries where they are due but and for those of you who do want this to come about i feel like think of the threshold think of your spirit animals think of the fear think of the rage think of the gossip if this energy is coming about with the same bs you don't want it make sure it is renewed it may be small but just make sure the energy is renewed you know what i mean uh with the four of cups though i do see a few of you rejecting this i do see a few of you just turning a blind eye to it and just being like till there is equal give and take i am not interested good on you libra some of you may even walk away from this with the 8 of cups now again energy is fluid free will has to be taken into account this is just the energy that is present for you this opportunity is present for you your free will and your person's free will can change everything but the overall energy again is the hierophant can't ignore it all right quite generic this reading was but i hope this helped even one libra out there and enjoy the rest of march i will see you next time bye bye